you know, in many ways I feel I owe significant chunks of my career to the Marine Biological Laboratory, despite the fact that I'm neither a marine biologist nor a laboratory, laboratory experimenter. It's just that um, I came here for the first time in, in 2001. I had just completed uh, a year of postdoc at Dalhousie University in Nova Scotia, where I had been working in the lab um, of Brian's, uh, Brian Hall, who is a developmental biologist, and uh, he let me hang around and try to learn, not techniques, but really sort of rationale, experimental rationale, and, uh, and some of the methodology that went into the, the particular experimental designs that they had in that lab. And I came here for the very first time to one of the um, history of biology seminars that are run here in the summer. And it was on evolutionary developmental biology. That's what I'd written my dissertation about. That's what my postdoc was working on. And I came here and I met, for the very first time, some of the people who I had written about quite extensively in my dissertation. So um, Jane Meinschein, for instance, and Scott Gilbert, and James Griesmer. Um, it was a very interesting, Rudy Raff, it was a very interesting collection of historians, a couple of philosophers, evolutionary biologists, developmental biologists, and evolutionary developmental biologists who were brought together for this history seminar. I learned a ton during that week here uh, at the MBL. I made some very long-lasting friendships, and at the same time, it was, as I said, the place where I met Jane Meinschein, who is now my boss at Arizona State University. So that was the very first time I was here, and it was tremendous. I've had the pleasure of being back four or five times since. And so I participated in several more of the summer, in the uh, history of biology summer uh, seminars, including one on uh, the business of life and one on uh, humans and ecology. Uh, they were both terrific. And then I also uh, ran my own seminar here last spring, uh, spring of of 2012, uh, I had uh, National Science Foundation funding for a project on the justification of experimental animals in developmental biology and neuroscience. And uh, it was much more cost effective to bring people from the East Coast to the MBL than it was to bring them out to Phoenix. And so what we did is we assembled a, a group. We had the session uh, across the street here in the um, MBL club and it was really just a, a terrific uh, meeting two days of focusing on how we might use some of the new technologies uh, that the MBL has been focused on including digital history and philosophy of science technologies to help us make better decisions uh, about experimental animal choice in developmental biology and the neurosciences. So as I said, I came here for the first time as a postdoc, and I remember um, very fondly um, during that first week that I was here, Jane Meinschein ran a little session for junior people. Um, so there were, instead of the people that we'd read about, uh, it was the people who were writing about them, who got around, uh, sat around in a table, and, and Jane gave us um, a little bit of mentorship about how to establish a career trajectory and how to get funded and so forth. And I remember saying to Jane that I was very confident that I had uh, submitted this application to the Canadian Institutes of Health Research uh, to be a new investigator, which would come with five years of salary support and five years of research support. So it was a half million dollar grant. And um, I, I told Jane I was very confident that I was gonna get that grant. And Jane looked at me and said, yeah, right. Uh, and the skepticism that she exuded was absolutely appropriate. I mean, exactly what you would expect from a, from a mentor. Um, you know, sort of don't get your hopes up, but tell me more about the project. And in telling her about the project, I think she got really excited about the, the prospect. And, uh, and so it was very exciting for me when two months later I found out that I had in fact received the award. And the very first person I told after my now wife, Wanda, was, uh, was Dr. Meinschein. I emailed her, let her know that this had come through. She was absolutely, uh, I think, astonished but thrilled for me. And that actually enabled me to uh, really get my career going. And uh, it seeded a couple of other grants, including one 
on uh, the choice of experimental animal in stem cell biology that uh, Jane Meinstein was a collaborator on long before my days at Arizona State. So the first time I came here was was 12 years ago and uh, I was a postdoc then and I came here as a postdoc as a, a junior uh, assistant professor as a more senior assistant professor more recently when I ran my seminar here last year I was an associate professor and now uh, I'm back again just visiting and, and getting some work done and I feel this sort of remarkable um, uh, growth as a scholar uh, that I, I can I can see reflected in my confidence at the MBL and in my uh, my familiarity with uh, the tremendous resources in the library and uh, and in particular the people. But what I love about this place is that it's such a, a spectacular training ground for for young people. Um, I can only imagine how different my career would have been had I come here even earlier. Uh, but I'm grateful that I came the year that I did. Uh, met Jane and the rest is history. <laughs>